Testing, testing, one, two, okay, we're live. Hi guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Now today, very special video, as we are going to talk about the updates to the Pico Neo 3 Link, and also all the updates of the iOS and Android phone, as some of you may not be familiar with some of the things there. Now, for those who have been following the channel, thank you very much for your support, as thanks to you I have been able to get a gig at ByteDance Pico working in user operations handling all the social media community management as well as partnerships and advertising and all the various different influences there in Southeast Asia so thank you very much I do promise you however that the channel will of course not be biased whatsoever we are going to be doing a lot of videos about the HP Reverb G2 and future VR headsets as well of course with all the various different VR sims and games and all this kind of stuff. So actually there'll be plenty more content about the Pico Neo 3 Link and future Pico headsets than anything else. So this is very beneficial to the channel. But without further ado, let's start talking about the actual updates inside of the app first. And we're going to be doing some testing together to make sure that they work. All right, let's hop in. All right, so after that, you're inside of the actual Pico app. Now, by the way, you may actually have to force delete and then force reinstall your app in order to see all the various different changes. As for me, for example, depending on your location, I didn't actually get a notification to be able to do it. I was told there was a new update. So that's what I had to do in order to see all the various different things. So what we're going to do first is uh, we're just going to go to the actual store. And inside of the store, you will notice that now compared to before, you will see all the various different apps inside of the store. We have After the Fall, the Mayo, Smash Drums, Hyperdash. I mean, these are very, very cool VR experiences. I must say that the store now is starting to fill up pretty nicely compared to a few weeks or a few months ago. And then you just need to swipe basically with your finger to be able to, you know, go and see all the various different apps here. So for example, we have Stride. We also have Epic Roller Coaster, Against, Gun Club. Uh, you know, some really cool stuff there. Walkabout, Mini Golf, of course. Warplanes, WW1. Racket, Alex, one of my favorite. Synth Riders, one of my favorite as well. Angry Birds. I mean, there's a lot of different things there. There's nearly a hundred various different VR experiences inside of the Pico uh, between, I think it's between 40 and 100, something there. I didn't count exactly, specifically the number, but there is quite enough of VR experiences, which are quite good, by the way, uh, to keep you really, really entertained. In the future, they also have Rek uh, Ragnarok. Uh, they also have some bundles there. So, uh, I mean, not bundles, but categories. So music and sports, role playing, first person shooting, action and fighting, you know, a whole bunch of different things there to just make it a little bit easier in terms of, you know, finding out what's inside of the app uh, if you don't want to do a search. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to show you how to redeem a code because this is also something that is very new. You'll see here it says code redemption. And then we're just going to go and do a test together to see how it works. So the app that we're going to test today to do the actual redemption is going to be virtual fighting championship. So thank you very much to the guys there uh, for passing me the key to do this test today. Uh, now, by the way, I just want to mention that, you know, you can see the description of the app and everything like that and tell you what is what. And also, if you use, by the way, a, a VPN to access different territories, you will get it in different prices, which means that if, for example, the dollar was weaker than your currency, uh, then, you know, you might want to purchase it from there to save some money, for example, or, you know, what have you not up to you. So um, let's do this. So we're just going to go back into my menu, go to code redemption. So you see it's there. And then we're just going to go to my, I'm just going to go and get the actual code itself. So thank you very much, uh, Liu Young, for passing me uh, the code to do this really cool, awesome test. Here we go. It's here. So let me just copy the message, go back into the app and then just paste it in here. There we go. So now we see Pico VR pasted from Twitter. Uh, the code is inside of there. So it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, uh, 16 numbers with some dashes in between. And then let's just click on redeem and see what happens. Uh, so then we seems that I get a pop-up. 
to let me know that if you already have all redeemable resources, this redemption code will not expire. Uh, if you do not have all the redeemable resources, you can redeem this redemption code for any of the remaining resources and the code will be invalid after the redemption. All right, so let's just click on OK. There we go. And now it says redeemed. You have obtained the following resources, virtual fighting championship. So it'll be very interesting to see uh, how it will appear inside of the headset. So let me just click on back. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on the actual headset itself just to power it on. So the headset has been powered on. And then normally what all I have to do is go back to store and click on devices. Here we go. And now it says that at the moment, the device is of course offline because it's not switched on. I mean, it's powering on at the moment. And what I need to do is just use my controllers to go inside. So let me just do that very quickly. And then there's a little button on the top right hand side that tells me redeem records. And inside of here, you'll be able to see all the various different apps that you actually redeemed as part of the history. Now, what I wish to communicate to you, and this is very important for you to know, this feature is still in beta mode, which basically means that it is a manual redemption. That means that if you want to redeem, especially content creators, if you want to redeem a code from a specific developer, you need to write to the developer, of course, to get the code, but then they have to fill up a Pico form to send to them to say what game and what code they want the content creator, for example, myself, to redeem. And then after this form has been processed by Pico, Pico will then provide the authorization to the developer to provide that code back to the key opinion leader. It is not yet automatic, which means the developer can't just give a code back to the uh, content developer straight away in order to make the redemption. There is an extra step there, an extra administrative process, if you wish. But of course, they are working on the automatic release so that in the future, in a few weeks or in a few months time, in future updates, you will be able, anyone will be able to redeem codes whatsoever if you want to purchase, for example, some apps for your friends or for your family or for your coworkers, you know, all these kind of different things, or also for developers who want to provide a code to key opinion leaders or influencers or YouTubers to be able to, you know, talk about content online to do reviews of the various different games. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put the VR headset on and I'm gonna show you exactly where the game Virtual Fighting Championship is. All right, so now we're inside of the Pico Neo 3 Link. Just want to confirm with you guys that the current version that you should have is the 4.7.1.7. Do leave a comment below if you have another version. And also we will talk about the new updates coming very soon to the Pico uh, because they are quite exciting. So let's just check where the game is. So let's go back to the App Store. So all we do is we go inside of the App Store here. There we go. And then if I go, if I do a search, for virtual fighting, which I did before, so I just click on it here. It will basically bring me directly, or if I just uh, click it once more, you'll see it says purchased inside of the actual app store. So all we have to do now is click on it. There we go. And Virtual Fighting Championship, by the way, is very popular here in Asia. I have to admit, a lot of Asian people play this game quite a lot because it does what it says. And basically, it's a form of you know virtual reality UFC version, I would imagine, I would say. Um, so, you know, good combat. They're good for fitness and all these kind of different things. So all you have to do, basically, is click on the download button here. And I'm just going to fast forward this section uh, for the purpose, obviously, of the video, so you don't have to wait until the actual app is fully downloaded. All right, so after the app has downloaded, you'll see that the icon will start to turn. That basically means that it is installing inside of the VR headset. And of course, depending on your internet connection, it will be faster or slower, so do make sure you are choosing the fastest internet that you can have possibly on your network at that moment in time when you're doing the download. So now we're just gonna click on open. There we go. And the app is actually loading. It's asking me for a permission request. So I'm gonna click allow. And then for the microphone as well. And then the app has started. All right, there we go. So here we are inside of the actual app, which is freaking amazing. I have to say that the developers have been working on this for, wow, quite a while. I mean, 
the actual home environment here looks very different to what it used to. So let's just click on English. You can see my controllers here. We've also the battery life telling me how much battery I have in each of the controllers. And then confirm. Cool, hi fighter, welcome. Well, I'm very, very interested to actually try this out, guys. And of course, if you want me to do a full review about this, do hit the likes and the uh, notification bell after you subscribe. If you get to about 20 likes, I will do a video specifically reviewing this app. So do make sure you hit the likes, as I just mentioned. Um, but you know, we could just basically go to show tutorial next time. There we go. Or we could do it now, why not? and then just go to punching tutorial very quickly. There we go, this looks pretty cool. The app is working absolutely fine, as you can tell. There we go. And we can move, so I can just punch it to test. There we go. All right, so let's uh, get out of VR now, and I'm gonna to talk to you about the other updates that are about to happen inside of the Pico News 3 link. All right, so the changes were published on the Pico XR Europe Twitter. By the way, if you are on Twitter and you want to follow me, you know, go to Lazius K. Uh, you can find me at VR Essentials 1, where I publish a ton of different things there. Of course, some news about what's going on at Pico, and also everything that's going on inside of the metaverse of virtual reality. So do head to Twitter and follow me at VR Essentials Numerical One. I'm Lazius K. All right, so let's go back here. So the changes are supposed to be rolling out this week. By the way, this was published on August 17. We are the 20th today as per this recording. So if you haven't actually received the various different updates, um, you know, please let us know in the comments below. Personally, I have not received them just yet, but let's just check what exactly is coming. So the first thing that's coming is the ability to view ratings and review uh, purchase apps on the actual store. Now, this is a functionality that we really do need because you wouldn't know what's actually a good app and whether Pico are being true in terms of, you know, the apps that they're promoting inside of the store or not. So it's better to get those stars and get those real reviews from real consumers who purchased and tried the game and letting everyone else know whether they should purchase it as well. But FYI, all the games that are inside of the Pico store, especially for those who are not new to VR, who've been in VR for quite a while using other various different VR headsets, will of course obviously know whether the featured games inside of the store are good or not, to be honest with you. So. And from my own standpoint, all the games that are featured there, most of them are actually on par, so they actually know what they're talking about. All right, so be in the know with the coming soon app, so this will enable you to know exactly uh, you know, what apps are coming. Uh, and then also now you can purchase game bundles. So I'm not quite sure what bundles are available at this moment in time because my app hasn't uploaded, uh, sorry, my store hasn't, I mean, my Pico, excuse me, uh, hasn't actually updated yet. So I'm not quite sure what bundles are available there. And I don't want to you know, tell you anything that perhaps is not relevant, but that is very, very exciting to know that bundles are now available. And in order to help protect our diverse audience, we now have an age filter as well. So this is really, really good news on behalf of Pico that now you'll be able to know whether you should be 13 or it's PG or, you know, an 18 or something like that. So that's going to be very, very useful, especially for parents uh, who are purchasing the headset for their uh, kids who are 13 and above, or for, you know, their teenagers, uh, kids who are 18 and below, you know, and above 13, of course. So guys, these are all the updates so far. The newest game that is inside, as far as I'm concerned, uh, in terms of the actual Pico VR headset, let me just uh, transfer once more is, if I'm not wrong, Cities VR. Now, Cities VR is a very, very cool app, guys. A lot of good fun there, especially for, um, you know, for families who want to do stuff together. You get to build stuff. This is a really, really good fun app. I'm actually going to be trying it out, guys. So do leave a, uh, you know, do hit the notification bell after you subscribe to get to know that specific app review that will come in the next few weeks. And of course, do hit the likes. As I mentioned, if we manage to make more than 20 likes, then I will do a special video for virtual fighting championships. So guys, until next time, thank you so much 
much for watching today's video. I really, really do appreciate it. <sighs> Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to know. It's very exciting to be working at ByteDance Pico. I have to admit, of course, I won't be able to divulge any secrets. I signed an NDA that is the size of a mountain, to be honest. It's like a really thick NDA, so there's nothing that I can tell you guys. And of course, I won't be biased whatsoever. I will tell you the things that don't work. I will tell you the things that are worth looking at. For example, there is still an issue in Steam VR at the moment with mag magnification, certain things that just appear to be too big. All right, guys, until next time, see you in VR. Take it easy. Bye for now.